Hey guys, Scyther Jace here. I um, just wanted to make a quick video. Actually, uh, I wasn't planning on filming this, but uh, I just wanted to give a little tip. Uh, sometimes, like uh, with me as a store, um, and even as a collector, I used to do this. You have certain people that you've bought from or sold to or you know you have contacts and um, they collect specific things and then they let you know oh, if, you, if ever you find this particular thing uh, let me know so you, you get contacts like that and that makes me think that um, there's a, there's specific niches within Pokemon for example or even within any TCG but um, for people who are collecting just a particular type of card uh, and I don't mean like a Pikachu or a Charizard I mean in this case I don't know if you see it well here uh, this card here has a galaxy swirl what they call a galaxy swirl I'm trying to get it in the light oh there you go you see it better right now so those swirls are a particular swirl uh, and just like you have the cosmic swirl which is a little bit more dotted uh, some people like those swirls and some people like these swirls and there's money to be made within that uh, that niche because people are willing to pay more uh, than they would for the for the same card uh, just for that swirl uh, these these cards don't necessarily all come with those swirls so like it's a little bit harder to come by a little bit more rare and it's more likely that they don't have that particular card so you could just add that to your add that to what you're you're looking for when you're trying to find cards for your clients so in this case uh, this pikachu here with the galaxy swirl uh, i don't the, the the client that i have that didn't want to, to pay for the shipping of the whole box they, they just want that particular card right they just want to collect the, that swirl so what i offered at first i offered to buy the whole box because some people like to have even in the original packaging they like to have the, that swirl and some people they just want to have the cards uh, i've sold to the same person some blister packs some check lane blister packs with just one pack inside and that had a swirl so they keep that sealed because it's a smaller item to keep uh, this box is a little bit larger has the it has the three packs and some stuff that they just really don't want so i offered um just the card by itself i'll ship out the card by itself and at a little bit more of a premium just so to cover the cost of opening them and now having to sell uh, the sun and moon pack the burning shadows pack and the breakthrough pack by themselves as a uh, single packs loose packs which people sometimes can be wary of because they think maybe you resealed it i have a little bit more uh, a little bit more of a name for myself uh, having a store i'm i seem a little bit more legit to people i have a name in the facebook groups that i'm in uh, so people trust me more but not that's not for everyone if you're if you haven't been selling much in in any facebook groups or you don't have really a name for yourself yet um maybe you should gain that before you do something like that but then you might still get a chance to to sell these packs it's just a little bit harder sometimes to sell loose packs uh because people might think they're resealed although these these uh packs are not really desirable packs to reseal anyways so uh, i would hope i would think that people don't go to through too much effort just to reseal these packs i mean there's not really any big chase cards like for example base set or like what's the era packs where the value of those packs are much higher and this toy i could probably add into either uh I could either do giveaways with that or put it in those, in those mini tins that I make uh, for children uh, just as an extra little toy. So nothing is lost by me doing this. Uh, of course, I could sell this box for about $50, um, not shipped. 
of course, uh, just 50 Canadian dollars. Um, but I was able to sell the, the, the Pikachu by itself for 20. So I should be able to make back the money with the rest uh, and just add that as a bonus for, for the little tins that I make. So while we're at it, let's just open this up so that we can take a closer look at the Pikachu. Sorry for rambling a little bit. I've just wanted to explain the, this little part that maybe not everybody knows about the, that type of niche. Uh, the only thing with, with these um, is that they still had those, those little tabs. So I think I was able to get it out without damaging the car. Put this code here. Actually, I'll, I'll give you guys the code. That way, if, it, if anybody wants this code, here you go. Uh, let's take a look. So I don't think... Uh, now, you, now you see it a little bit better. I think the, with the lighting, how it hits. See that galaxy swirl right there? So people people really enjoy those. And you see the card is, is in very good condition. So. so she should be happy with that. And here we have the loose packs. So as I said, I'm just gonna add these to my stores, uh, to my website and in the store display. And you get this little, I don't know if it's a, yeah, it's, I guess it's a keychain, little hanger, hanger toy, little rubber, 2017, rubbery toy. So yeah, that's it. Um, but always be on the look, look out for those uh, niches. Uh, some people, they, they collect misprints, misputs. Uh, there's Facebook groups for those. If you ever want to join them, uh, you could always find information about those. Uh, on there, people are very knowledgeable about what they collect, so uh, you could always ask for advice uh, on values, on uh, or even some people will go and you post your picture of the card that you're you're curious about, and people usually are are nice about it and they'll give you information if you're looking for any. Uh, if you want to start your own collection of of misprints, of uh, miscuts, or swirls, or there's so many oddities that you can find on, on various uh, Pokemon cards. And they have the same in Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Magic cards, I'm sure have the same. Although I'm not familiar too much with Magic cards, but I know Yu-Gi-Oh has misprints as well. Um, but yeah, um, keep, an, keep a look out uh, for these because people are usually willing to pay a little bit of a premium uh, for this type of card. And so you can make some extra money thinking that you have a, maybe a one, two dollar card. For example, this promo is about 15, 10 to 15 dollars usually. And I was able to get 20 for it just because of the swirl. So uh, that's why I wanted to make this quick informational video about that and show you what was inside this box at the same time. So I'm Scyther Jace and I'll see you on the next one.